Would you like to learn how to design a use case diagram? Hi, my name is Ram and I am your business analyst Pandit. In today's quick demo, let us understand how to design a use case diagram. So what is use case diagram? Well, a use case diagram is a user to machine interactive diagram where the user interacts with the system to perform certain task or activity. The more the BA designs a meaningful diagram, the more the developer will be able to develop a meaningful module within a product or project. In the interest of time, I have already designed a use case diagram for a real-time customer requirement. For the purpose of this demo, I have used Draw.io. Draw.io is a free online software used for designing UML diagrams, that is, unified model language diagrams. I also assume that you might have an account, else I recommend you to please create one. Now let us dive into the business requirement. For the purpose of this demo, let us take a real-time business requirement. Here, our customer is expecting us to design an edutech platform where the trainer should be able to create and conduct virtual classroom training. The trainer should be providing meeting invite to the students. Students should be able to see the notification and select the option to approve, reject or provide a reason to schedule the meeting invite. For the above business requirement, I was able to work on two use cases. One is to understand what the trainer would do within the system. The next is to understand what the student would do within the system. Here, the first use case explains the trainer sign in with the trainer's credential and log into his profile page. The trainer schedules a meeting. The trainer shares the meeting invite with the students via mail. Trainer awaits response from his students. If the student approves the request, the trainer schedules the training session. If the student rejects the request, the trainer cancels the training session. If the student selects tentative, the trainer reschedules the training session. The second use case explains the student's activity with the system. Here, the student sign in with the student's credential and log into his profile page. Once after logging into his profile page, student gets a notification if a training is scheduled. Student checks the notification. Student select approve, reject or click tentative. Upon selection, a mail gets triggered to the trainer. Now coming back to our use case diagram, this is a typical use case diagram. The use case diagram consists of four major components. One is the system or the application. The next is the actor. The third is the use case diagram. The fourth is the relationship that is shared between the actor and the activity that is happening within the application. A system or an application is represented by a rectangular box which can be dragged and dropped from the object pane and it is represented with a title. A system or an application is a software that the development team is currently developing. It could be anything with which the user will be using to get an output. It could be a mobile app, it could be a web app, it could be a product feature. The next object within the use case diagram is the actor. An actor is also called as a user or an external device which is not a part of the system or application but actors will be using the application to harvest the outcome from the application or the system. In our case, actors are the external users who will be using the EduTech app. We have renamed this EduTech app as Virtual Teaching and Meeting Web Application. In our case, we will be using two actors. One is the trainer. The next is the next actor is also called as the student. Actors are classified or categorized based on their activity which they are doing within the application or system. There are two types of actors within this use case diagram. One is called as the primary actor, the next actor is called as the secondary actor. The primary actor initiates the use of the application or the system, whereas the secondary actor reacts to the primary actor's activity. In this diagram, the primary actor is also called as the trainer, logs into his profile, schedules a training, invite the students and receives an acknowledgement based on the approval or rejection by the student. Here. Student is also called as the secondary actor, reacts to the primary actor's action activity within the system. Here he checks, he again logs into his profile, checks the notification and opt to choose between the three options and based on this activity, a mail gets triggered back to the trainer. 
Since primary actor initiates an activity within the system, he is being placed in the left hand side. The secondary actor who reacts to the primary actor's information is placed in the right hand side. The next object in the use case diagram is the use case object by itself. Here the use case diagram is represented by the oval diagram which can be dragged and dropped into the system. So a use case is a subset of an activity or an action that is initiated within the system or application. Here each of the use case is labeled by a verb and in English an action or activity is called a verb and here the action is reinforced by the activities that will happen within the application or system which is logically descriptive. So here login is a verb, check notification is a verb, schedule training is an action, invite is an action. So all these informations are described in a verbal format. It is always a good practice to arrange the use case in a logical order so that the developer can easily understand the use case designs and develop the product or module at ease. The next object in the use case diagram is the relationship. The relationship are represented by a line and the line can be dragged and dropped into the graph from the object pane. Here actors and systems are related to each other and both interact to get the output based on an activity that happens within the application and it is purely based on what action is opted by the actor or the user. So the action is purely based on the activity that is opted by the user within the system. The relationship is showcased by the line which I have told you. This is how the actor and system interacts within the module. There are four types of relationship that is available in a use case diagram. One is called as the associate relationship which is represented by the line. The next is called as the include which is represented by a dashed arrow. The third is also represented by a dashed arrow which is called as the extent. The fourth relationship is called as the generalized relationship which is also called as inheritance. Now let us see what is an include relationship. In this use case diagram, if the user approves the training invite, then the trainer can schedule the training. Again, if the user approves or clicks on tentative or rejects, an invite is triggered, an acknowledgement is triggered to the trainer. So without uh, without approval, the acknowledgement, acknowledgement mail will not be sent to the trainer. Again, without approval, the trainer will not be able to schedule the training. And this is the reason why we have the include relationship here. Again, if the student rejects, the trainer should cancel the training. Again, if the student clicks on tentative, then the trainer should reschedule the training. The extend relationship means if the student approves the invite and if he is missing the training, the trainer can reschedule the training. So this is called as an extend. Let us see the next relationship which is also called as the inheritance relationship or generalized relationship which is also called as parent-child relationship. Here the children shares a common behavior of the parent and each and every child has a unique activity which needs to be worked on. The student has an option to click on tentative, approve or reject which shares the same goal with the parent which is called as invite. And this relationship is marked with an arrow mark, is represented with an arrow mark. From this demo, we have seen a real-time business requirement and we have converted that business requirement into use case steps. From the use case steps, we have identified and designed a use case diagram. If you like this demo, I kindly request you to please share, subscribe my channel for more videos and podcasts like this.